Here's a simple and uh, easy to understand, hopefully, uh, video about uh, building circulation, air circulation in a building, I should say. Um, air will basically come in through one opening and leave uh, exit another opening. So you can actually open a door at one side of the house and open a window on the other side of the house and you will get some type of fresh air circulation. Now the problem with this usually is that you're not going to have the doors and windows open when it's uh, really cold outside or really hot. Now this could create a problem for air circulating through the home, especially if you're living in a newer home that is super insulated and does not allow, you, in other words, the only way you're going to get fresh air in through these homes will be through some type of a mechanical forced air system air conditioning and heating system um, and or you'll need to open doors and windows. In older homes you're not going to need that as much because you have plenty of air leaking through every crack and gap. Old windows, old doors, you know at my house you can actually stick your finger in one of the gaps and uh, you can see the the daylight from the outside and when it's um, on, on any given day, I should say, you can go stand up next to this thing and feel the air coming in. Well, on a newer home with a door that's not allowing any air at all to enter the building, you're not going to have that. So this is actually a problem and has created a problem with uh, newer homes. If you have multiple windows or door openings, you can, uh, you're going to get better ventilation. You can see here where air would basically be going through one side of the building and out the other. Uh, the uh, previous picture, basically, if you have something like that, that might just provide ventilation for one room, but it's not going to ventilate the entire house. Um, and this, this type of system is basically what a lot of air conditioning, um, or should I say uh, mechanical contractors who deal with air conditioning and heating, they deal with trying to move air through a building effectively. So I just wanted to throw two pictures in there. The basic idea of this video, the thing I really want to hammer home is that older homes, uh, you're not going to have to have your doors and windows open all the time to get fresh air breathable air into the home. In newer homes that are super insulated, you might need to permanently, you might need to leave windows open all the time to get breathable air in there. So just keep that in mind. If you're having a problem, some of the people in your family are sick, something like that, then uh, this might be something to ask uh, your doctor about or do a little more research in. Again, the the uh, video I made just was to provide you with some basic air ventilation, how air moves through the home. But uh, if you're living in a newer home, you could have a problem with a uh, variety of different things, including mold and mildew. And in older homes, of course, you're going to have problems cooling it or heating it because you have so much air moving through uh, doors and windows that aren't sealed properly. So, and again, this isn't hard to figure out. If you're living in an older home, you can hold your hand around the doors and windows on hot days when you're trying to keep the, the inside of the house cool and feel the air rushing in. In newer homes that are sealed up tight, you are not going to feel this, which should tell you that you are also not getting fresh air in um, or you're not going to get it in without some type of a mechanical system.